What is up, everybody? It is your host, Zachary Reality, and we are here with two very special guests today. This is our first couple we're interviewing via virtual. I had one other couple on I did in person, so a little nervous here, but we got Randall and Shanique from The Ultimatum re-engaged. Congratulations. How are you? How is your summer going? Oh, man. Summer's been busy with it's work. It's flying, too. Um, yeah, it's, it's been flying, <laughs> um, being that it's almost August. But just the whole planning with the whole engagement, that took up a lot of time. Um, but it's been fun. And Austin's been super hot. So we've just been out lakes yeah. and pools for the most part. Yeah, we've probably, I think, mostly weekends, we go out like after 4 or 5 p.m. just yeah. to kind of spare ourselves from melting. Yeah. Um, it's like 100 yeah. I think probably like 104 right now. So it's it's pretty warm. Oh, it's crazy. <laughs> okay. LA is a little bit cooler. It's like 80 degrees. Yeah. But I have yeah, a, I, hear. I have a pool right outside. I'm really lucky. So I will just jump in for like 10 minutes. It's like my bath. Love oh that wow. for you. Love that for you. <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys just got re-engaged, and I feel like everyone is so excited for you guys. We all rooted for you on the ultimatum season one, and you were originally engaged and now you're re-engaged. So Randall, how long have you been planning this? So funny enough. Um, obviously we took a break, um, after the show and came back in the reunion and spoke about it, but really up until probably like a year and a half ago is when I started planning with like the ring company and just having conversations with her friends. Like, you know, I don't want to ask her ring size or what ring she would want. So like, do you guys have any idea? And every so often she would send over like some pictures of rings and I'm like, <laughs> okay, let me try to screenshot these and put it in like some type of hidden folder or something just in case she sees it. But, uh, her friends had the same ring in mind and I uh, spoke to the ring company and they were like so excited to help me out with it and that was about a year ago and then once we just started getting everything wow. together customizing it um I was like okay here's the date here's when I want to do it because everybody's out of town during the summer I was yeah. like I want to do it this date and I got it done and I'm I'm, I'm happy that I got that date yeah so <laughs> it's funny because yeah. I was actually out of town like like probably a month and a half yeah, like every weekend every like weekend. a month and a half yes. leading up to it so this is like the first weekend and i didn't want to tell her though i didn't want to tell her like <laughs> hey like something's happening so i kind of had to make a lie like uh so our friend right he's coming down he wants to take some pictures he's a good photographer she's like okay great so she bought like 10 outfits <laughs> and i'm like you sure you want to kind of spend all this money on outfits no and i'm only wearing one fit the entire night but she didn't know and so she actually <laughs> walked and saw it and i was like okay so I'm still a little salty about those outfits. Yeah. I didn't get to wear yet, but <laughs> so were you a completely surprised, Shanique? Like you had no idea. Like obviously he said you were sending him pictures here and there. So you definitely wanted yeah. it, but how shocked were you? Yeah, I would say, I mean, honestly, like I was really surprised. I actually believed that we were doing a photo shoot because um the friend that he's referring to, this is kind of what he does. And so we were like, Yeah, we need to get some pictures, like we should, you know, we should totally do it. So I was completely bought into that. Um but as far as sending him like a couple, you know, inspo pics, <laughs> I feel like, you know, I don't know what it is, but it just kept on coming up on my like explore pages and stuff. Maybe because he was doing a little bit of, you the know. Algorithm. The algorithm. You know, the algorithm always goes. crazy. Algorithm takes stuff. Yeah. too smart. <laughs> so yeah, every time I would see something that was just like, oh my God, I love this. I would just kind of, you know, hit send. <laughs> yeah, and I was saving all those pictures and making sure like, okay. I think this is the ring that she she would like. So. <laughs> but I will say my um, best friends, they probably got like the most of it. For sure, right? for so sure. I was definitely sending them stuff all the time. This is kind of what we do, girls. Just yeah, yeah. Send stuff that like, like, <laughs> I would love this. Was it July 15th? Was that just like because Shanique was out of town so much? Or is there like a specific reason you picked that date? Like, it's funny because everybody asks me why July 15th. And there is literally no significance <laughs> to that date. Well, now it there was is. because, yes, right, now, now there, there is, is, of course. But I was trying to do it back in June when my parents came. Um, but some things got mixed up with like the, the shipping of everything and uh, wanting to coordinate like with friends because uh, her friends were out of town as well. And one of her best friends was uh, overseas. Like, overseas. Yeah. Uh, for a couple of months so I was like okay if everybody can just be here July I'll choose a date in like maybe two and a half three weeks before I was like July 15th is a date and mm -hmm. I made sure everybody stuck to that date and <laughs> nobody was going to change or fly out for no reason at all so I'm that's actually funny out. though because um my best friend she was actually headed to China her, her boyfriend plays basketball overseas so she was like heading to China that same day that yeah. he had proposed so I mm -hmm. knew like that in my mind I was like this is obviously not going to be a proposal because like I know he would want her to be there and I would want her to be there like at least like after 
to just kind of celebrate and stuff. Oh. So I was really, I, I was really surprised. He did really good. <laughs> so this is probably a dumb question, but what was the better proposal, Shanique, on the ultimatum or IRL? <laughs> Let me know. Which no, one was better? I, I'm, totally, right. I'm going to be totally honest. I mean, there's something about just like it being like so authentic and just so like, and the, the surprise element just adds a lot to it, right? Yeah. It's like, this is something you genuinely wanted to do been planning to do and like you know you did it on your own so I think I was just in both scenarios I think like it was authentic and for what it was but mm -hmm. this just felt a lot more special just knowing that he put so much time and effort and like consideration into it so mm -hmm. it seems like from like the outside looking in like a lot of people probably view you guys as a very mature couple like you took your time you took a break after a show which was probably like so crazy to do and then you got back together yeah. and you took your time getting yeah. engaged like it just seems like you guys took a lot of healthy steps to get to where you are today is that kind of how you felt Randall like throughout the yeah. past couple of years because it, it got a little messy back in the day yeah that yeah, yeah I know like a lot of people are commenting like finally, so finally yeah like but in my mind I'm like okay so the show came out what last year we filmed it 2021 like people are making it seem like it was 10 years ago like that we filmed the show uh, but I, obviously they see us on social media so they just kind of get accustomed to just seeing us and like when are you guys getting married when are you guys having kids like the, all the questions in the world about a relationship mm -hmm. um, but I just knew in my mind that I wanted to take my time with it and I also wanted to, to get a nice ring, you know, like something that mm -hmm. I know she'll be proud to see and proud to wear. And um, I also wanted to be a big event. I wanted to do a proposal that was intimate, kind of like how it was on the show where you saw just us two up there, um, obviously with Cameron in the back. <laughs> but with we this, you know, it felt, way more, right, it felt way more special. I put way more thought and effort into it um, with just finding inspo on how to set things up for engagements. Uh, and I just felt like that was more special and I didn't want to just go off of people, people's timelines. I kind of mm -hmm. wanted to do it on my own time, but at the same time, understand that Shanique is also ready to be engaged. So yeah. I tried the, the best I could and I think I succeeded in it. So, yeah. So Shanique, you walk into the photo shoot. When do you know he's going to get down on one knee and propose? Like when was the moment it clicked? Yeah. So, okay. First of all, this was like a venue that I never even knew existed. And it wasn't too far from our house. Mm -hmm. um, but right. I think it's it, the purpose of it. It's like it's supposed to be for photo shoots. So there are different like, you know, areas kind of set up mm -hmm. um, to do photo shoots, but it's outdoors. So when you walk in, it's kind of like an abandoned garden looking place, but it's really pretty and like very rustic. And um, when I walked up, you know, I saw um, the photographer come out. And I'm just like, oh my God, I'm so excited to meet you. And I'm like leaning in, hugging him mm -hmm. and everything. And I see that he kind of like draws back a little bit. And I realized that he was already recording. Um, so then I was yeah. just kind of like, wait a minute, like what's going on? And then like, I like look around the corner and everything's just like set up so beautifully. The lights are on and it was just beautiful. The sun was setting like right on time. Oh, yes. Like it was perfect. So as soon as I came around the corner, I was like, I mean, it says marry me. So it's kind of, <laughs> that's kind of a giveaway. <laughs> Yeah, unless it was like some type of, I mean, it was an engagement shoot, but it actually was an engagement yeah, shoot. Yeah, so. ex exactly. I had to like try to dry my tears. You guys know I'm a crybaby. Yeah, I had yeah. to dry my tears, pull myself together to like take these photos, but it was beautiful. And Wait, I, I can it. we um can we see the ring? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> show show it. Yeah. So tell me what you <laughs> like about it. Why is it perfect? Okay, it's perfect for a couple of reasons. I love the size of it. I feel like it's just like, it just looks so great on my hand. Like it's, you yeah. know, like you can wear this every day. Um, but I really love like the radiant cut diamond in the middle. And then it's surrounded by like these um, emerald cut diamonds, like an infinity band here. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I just think it's like all of the elements you could want, like perfect size. Yeah. Just, and it's so cool because uh, the company that I actually work with is so new and they are part of uh, Indian matchmaking season three. So yeah. they reached out to me. And we kind of just built a relationship a year and a half ago. And I was like, man, like, I love their business. I love their kind of core values. Everybody in the company is so nice when I spoke to them. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, here's the ring that she wants. How can you put this together? <laughs> and they're like, oh my gosh, yes, let's do it. It might take some time, but like, let's try to get this done. And when they showed me the video of the ring, when they had it in their hand, I'm like, wow, like that's way better than I ever imagined. And I think that mm -hmm. she's going to really like it too. So yeah. it came so, out really well. I'm surprised that he yeah. got like the perfect too it just like yeah, I had to guess the size also because all like none of her rings showed her actual <laughs> finger size and I was like I don't want to ask her what her finger size is so I asked her friend and she was like well generally girls have like a six to seven and I was like okay well let's try six and a half and I got a six and yeah. a half and I'm gonna fit 
So, but then you picked out a ring for her on the ultimatum though. So didn't you have like some idea then or how big have your fingers gotten since then? Uh, so our producer helped us yeah, with that. They were yeah, sneaky gotcha. about it. So yeah. she took one of my rings and I think that's oh, how they I did see, it. I didn't know that. I yeah. didn't know that. Okay. <laughs> I did not know that. Oh. You probably feel yeah. such a weight lifted off your shoulder too, because you know, Shanique has wanted this. Like you probably think your For whole sure. life, like I'm going to get engaged one day, my wedding, you're going to have to take the biggest shit after that. Cause it's so much planning and preparation. <laughs> so how do you um, feel now? Just so relaxed and bliss and honeymoon. Um, I am extremely happy for one, but I'm not so relaxed because I know the next step is obviously planning for the wedding. But, but I will say though, a weight has been lifted because this entire summer from May to now, or up until July 15th, I was like, really gung-ho and try to plan this engagement making sure it was perfect from mm -hmm. you to the time to because I just knew it was going to be really hot outside <laughs> and I wanted the pictures to be fire so I was like okay yeah they I'll were they were good <laughs> yeah I appreciate it how can we capture this to make the um engagement like as perfect as possible as possible can be so I just knew like from May until a couple weeks or last week I was like okay I gotta make sure this is like my main priority mm -hmm. you know even do any vacations or anything like let me make sure i'm getting this right <laughs> gotcha okay let's run it back yeah. a little bit just for a second we got to refresh everyone what happened so shanique oh, yeah. was the one we're not not all the in-between stuff just the big shanique submitted <laughs> you guys for the show because you wanted to get engaged and randall wasn't ready and then randall proposed at the finale and then right when you guys got home you broke it off is like is that how it happened yeah let me i guess i can kind of give a little color here um we so the timeline we were together for a year and a half yeah before we started filming the show but we we've known each other uh, for probably like two and a half years at that point so we've okay. been like really good friends um and then you know started dating and i think like a lot of girls you kind of have like a fairy tale maybe like a general timeline of how you would like for things to be um, done and it was never like a question he, he never made me question whether he wanted to get married it was just mm -hmm. more of like all of these in between things like what you know he would like to get done first and um I think the opportunity to to kind of be in the ultimatum just came at that point where we were like having those discussions uh -huh. um so it was almost like just perfect timing in that way um so we went on the show obviously that was filmed in like the first quarter of 2021 but the show came out like a year later it takes forever um, yeah, it takes forever. And it was like the first season. So I feel like they're just like, you know, they had a lot to kind of iron out. But at that point, we we did decide to break up because right after filming in 2021, like we celebrated my birthday in Jamaica. Um, and we were still kind of like riding the high, right? Like we were excited, but it was really awkward. And I think most people don't realize like when yeah. you do a reality show, like you have to keep things under wraps. So it's like, maybe your couple of your close friends know, but then it's like, you know, like people then they see tell you out. Someone, might... yeah, yeah, it yeah. just, it kind of gets a little like, it's hard to keep, you know, things as quiet as I think we would hope to make sure the show is successful. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so we went, we celebrated, we had a good time, but I mean, honestly, a lot of things were uprooted during filming and like a lot of things like just kind of like came up that we did have to talk about, like mm -hmm. finances was a big one, like, you know, living arrangement was a big one. Like there's a lot of stuff that people don't talk about, I think. Um, and so the show was really great in that way that it made us talk about them. But it's like, after we leave, set that you know we're back to our regular lives it's like yeah. how do how do we talk about these things like I so don't think people realize like the adjustment period leading back into your daily routine after you film is it's weird because you have to adjust for one filming and then you're filming for however many months uh -huh. and then after that it's like okay guys well good we'll, luck we'll call you in a year <laughs> and we'll let you know pr stuff and figure everything <laughs> else out and you're like oh like what just happened like <laughs> yeah did we just film a show you know so yeah. the realization of that and then just understanding like our lives would kind of change in a year mm -hmm. um we didn't want to make for one any basic decisions but we also wanted to do the things that were in our best interest yeah. as a couple yeah and i mean and yeah. to be honest like a lot of ugly shit came up like we were just yeah. like okay like how do we handle this um and you know i think we just decided like it's best for us to just kind of take a break and we were broken up for like the better part of six or seven months so yeah. we didn't get back together like it, it's so funny like I feel like timing is so funny because literally as mm -hmm. soon as we like decided we were going to get back together is when we got word that we were going to like film the reunion. reunion a month and a half later like yeah. we were just like what the heck so it was still very fresh even at the reunion we were like trying to relearn being together and mm -hmm. our agreement was we're going to scrap everything and like start from the beginning so yeah I feel like our time like, started at the top of 2022 <laughs> uh -huh. so did you guys have to give the ring back to Netflix no I still have it <laughs> oh, oh, you got two rings. 
right <laughs> yeah, that so, was way better though this yeah one's way, this one's way oh yeah better. for sure I always give people yeah. flack I'm like if you're gonna propose on tv and get a free ring they're planning it for you like you need to repropose in real life because it's not yeah. fair because yeah. like that's the yeah. tv one and then that's the authentic one so you got both Shanique's so you got everything you wanted right. and yeah. we were worried about Enjoy. you at the time because you had all these <laughs> need, you had all these needs for Randall and he just wasn't ready yet oh, oh looking yeah. back yeah. Looking back, do you feel like you were maybe too needy or high maintenance? And like, how have you grown in your relationship with him since? <laughs> no, it's okay. Like, I'm never gonna like be ashamed of that. Like, yeah, girl, yeah. But I will say, I think the way that like the purpose of the show is like to talk about like the hard stuff in your relationship and the things that kind of like might cause, you know, a bit of a rift between you guys. And so I definitely think at the time, like, I was like, I want this. I was very, I'm, I'm a very sure person. Like, yeah. that's just who I am. Yeah. And apologize for that. But I definitely think the way that I may have communicated it back then um, was, it, it could have been way better. Like, hindsight 2020, like, yeah, I was a little bit pushy and, and needy at the time. And it came off a little rough. So <laughs> <laughs> I think that he kind of like rolled with the punches there. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Randall, how do you like think about your experience on the show now, like in your relationship? Like, how is it so different than what we saw back then? Mm, I think just both of us are a little bit more mature in just our communication and uh, just understanding each other. Uh, obviously, we're two different people, but I feel like we, for one, both love each other, but we also, it's weird when you don't have the cameras around you, it just allows for more organic growth and yeah. you're getting to learn to know somebody without having to like, okay, guys, maybe you should guys, you guys should talk about this or it's just, we we allow it to come naturally and it just grew our relationship even more. Um, and that's just getting older and going through different life experiences within these past two years. Like it just shows the growth that we have uh, together, like us as a couple, but also mm -hmm. just who, who we are as people. And I think it definitely shows um, in the past couple of years. Yeah. yeah. I think just to kind of add to that, like, um, because you made a good point about like the cameras being around. Um, I, <laughs> we joke about this because like we weren't like reality TV people. Like I barely watched TV and prior to going on a reality TV show, I'd never really watched like a reality TV show. Yeah, I was so. watching like Jersey Shore. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, feel I, like I know Randall likes different. reality TV because I see his comments sometimes. He likes well, to yeah, yeah, I do like the way you know, and I like when when you post your videos. I'm like, oh, okay, like maybe I need to get into this show now. <laughs> right? So, yeah. yeah, like after we film, we're like, okay, maybe we should like. You I went. Know? I watched yeah. everything. <laughs> we watched so everything. Blind, so this one through what whatever it is on now, and I've just been watching Too Out to Handle. Like, mm. I, I like reality TV now, and it's better to watch it when you're not actually in right. it. Right. So. I think it gives you a different perspective, which is kind of like yeah. what I was getting at. Like when the cameras are around like it's like you almost over explain yourself or like yeah. you know like you want to make sure you're not being like some things are not being misunderstood and then I think it kind of gives more to be misunderstood I don't know so yeah. it's a little challenging like whenever you kind of have a conversation get your point across and you feel like the other person may be like you know like you're missing it that you want to like you know it's just it, it's really easy for and you then, to end up going and back then you realize when the show comes out oh they added that they added, like, it's like they don't even have that in there so yeah. yeah when you're when you're on the show I mean I, as someone who watches tv like obviously everything's so exaggerated what's gonna happen next week like coming attractions and then the the tv blows it up the fans blow it up like so many comments everyone has an opinion and you guys just put yourselves out there so it's probably nice to have more of a quiet like when well, everyone's just happy for you guys like there's no more drama like it's probably like the chapter's done now you guys can watch so I need your hot takes on the Ultimatum season two. Did you guys check that out? Oh yes. Um, <laughs> I that to you me was thought. yeah that to <laughs> me was uh that's a very that was a very interesting season. Um, I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Every episode to me was like a roller coaster because you had you know people painted to be obviously the villain or somebody that's not likable, and then you like find the you know you look at them like you know what I see myself in that person or mm -hmm. I see what they might be going through in that situation. Um, because being on a TV show, you understand that like the edits and everything the emotions and the heat of the moments like you mm -hmm. can't obviously control that sometimes um yeah and yeah it's it but it, it was a roller coaster it was a mess but a good mess though. it was <laughs> i like that that was a good season would you recommend shanique people couples apply for the show ultimatum or love is blind like do you recommend people go on one of these shows i think we were i don't even want to say mm -hmm. lucky i think we did the work because yeah. i mean obviously yeah. like i said we broke up right so like yeah. It wasn't all good, but I think you have to be very strong minded and like really actually like love the person that you are going on this show with and like mm -hmm. are invested in like having a successful relationship. 
because the shit is hard. I'm like, yeah. like, and it's very vulnerable and it's like something that's like near and dear to your heart. And like, I know that we were in a real committed relationship. Mm. I can't speak for everyone else. Like, so for us, like, yes, like that's not like lie here. Like, obviously there's an opportunity. You're on a huge platform. Sure, like, yeah. That's dope. But like, I don't, I would, if I had to do it again, like I would not sacrifice my relationship, you know, for any sort of platform TV or show. attention or whatever. Like, yeah. I just don't think that's it. So I would just kind of encourage people to really think about that being a possibility. And I know with Love is Blind, they're coming on as an individual, but I don't think it's any easier at all because you're actually getting married to somebody that you didn't, you've never seen before. Like you talked yeah. to behind the wall. So the mental strength you have to have to get on that show, I think, mm -hmm. yeah, I think that's a lot harder than Ultimatum if you ask me because you're, that's your life partner. So I don't know if I could ever do Love is Blind because yes. I would like to know <laughs> what my wife would look like before I married her, but Mm -hmm. um the people that have gotten married on the show and obviously the ones that are staying together right now like i i see the love i see the real love yeah. that they actually have and it shows that the show is not fake that's a real mm -hmm. show they deal with real emotions yeah um, and i was speaking with some people on the show as well and they're like yeah like we actually you know they, you, it might show you a snippet of who we talked to and who we're dating but we actually have had longer conversations and i was like i, I would hope so because when you're yeah. marrying somebody like you want to know who that person is and obviously get to know them more when they go on the, the suites and everything, the vacation. So yeah, I don't know if I could do it, but I know some people that are very successful successful at it. Yeah. So, so yeah. I, I would say do it at your own like, Do it at your own friends. Yeah. Cause it does help you <laughs> talk, it does help you talk about things that you probably wouldn't if you didn't go on a show like that and there wasn't all these people asking. But I do want to shout out they are casting right now for the Ultimatums season three and four. Um, I have, I made a video about it on my TikTok cause I was in touch with the casting team. So they're going to do a straight season for season three and then they're planning on doing season four, all guys. So it's going to be all gays. Okay. So I think that's, oh, that's going to get so messy. Oh, I, I feel like that's going to be interesting as well because, um, I know season three, I think it's going to be in Charlotte. Um, cause okay. I was speaking about season four, I think it's going to be in Phoenix. I might be wrong. But yeah. Yeah. I, I was trying to look at my computer for the casting. Yeah. <laughs> I know they're talking. Okay, I'm going to find it. But yeah, I, I can't wait to see that. Yeah. I think it's going to be, it's going to be crazy. Yeah. The ultimatum is casting for future seasons and pay attention because they might be coming to a city near you. This show puts couples to the test if they're going to marry or move on. So if you've been in a long-term relationship and there's no ring, this is the show you might want to apply to be on. I loved season one. I thought it was so good. And season two was the ultimatum queer love, which was so messy, but also amazing to broadcast queer love stories. Future seasons are currently casting in Los Angeles, Phoenix, Arizona, Minneapolis, Nashville, Seattle, and San Diego. They are actively casting right now, so apply today at theultimatum.castingcrane.com. Good luck. Yeah. It's gonna be good. Well, you only I haven't seen my season more than once, so I'm like, yeah. Well, the first time I saw it, I was like, I can't watch it you anymore. Never watched it the cringe is so. Oh, I, will, gosh. I will say it's like, good for that reason. Like, yeah. not just like the topics that you have, like you know, are kind of met with, but like watching yourself back. Like, I don't think people realize like that was so cringe. It's awkward. Most people will never get that opportunity to like actually see yourself. Mm -hmm. Like, and even though like there are yeah. obviously we know this like there are certain things that are edited for storyline or just like for sure i mean it's entertaining at the end of the day so like not to say that it's not real but i mean there are things that are exaggerated and it, it we have to make good tv so yeah. you know there's that but like mm -hmm. yeah watching yourself communicate you learn a lot and you can see like other perspectives like oh like okay like i can see why like right. maybe you responded that way because i kind of gave that you know so yeah yeah well, have you guys thought about wedding planning yet? Like, do you have like a year or is, is it just way too soon? I feel like Shanique's going to have really good looks though. A lot of dresses. Yeah. Can't wait. So she's been already like the day after was talking about talking to her mom about like uh, who she wants to invite, who wants she, <laughs> who she wants to be in the wedding. I'm like, okay, like give me like a, a week to just breathe because mm -hmm. this planning it was, it was taking a toll on my mental. But I would like to have it <clears throat> sometime next year or early 20. 25 maybe maybe okay. late 2024 a, a fall winter <laughs> and she more so wants what a spring no I, i'm, you with, you. Fall as well? I'm okay. with you on that because like, if we get married in texas like i just know it's like crazy hot outside um we, we just haven't September. like yeah we haven't really been able to like sit down and, and sure, talk yeah. about like absolute like we need this and like you know we're not doing this yeah. and i definitely want it to be something we like do together i think you know just the excitement obviously like you're a girl you're just like oh my gosh like my mom is like, oh my God, how do you feel? Like, so what mm -hmm. are we thinking? 
my mom was so, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. think our families are excited. Yeah. <laughs> You, I mean, you can just take your time and enjoy like the process. Like it's no rush. You can sure. do a bachelorette, bachelor party, bridal shower. You're going to do the whole thing. Exactly. So this is the year. Exactly. That's great. Yeah. So are you guys both in Austin, Texas? And like, is that where you guys grew up? Yeah. So we live in Austin. Um, we met in Austin five years ago. So okay. um, this style is just so crazy. Um, so yeah, literally met we, we met at work. Okay. Like, yeah. And a lot of people, I think Austin is just one of those cities where a lot of people are like coming in and out, but I think we just like found something really good here. Like we have a good group of friends and like, mm -hmm. and we just like not too far away in San Antonio. And so, you know, it just kind of like, it feels good for now. So we don't know where we're going to end up, but I think right now it just, it feels, it feels yeah. like home. And it's a good central location. Cause I have family in LA, but I'm from Atlanta. So my okay. family, my mom and live in Atlanta. Um, and I have my uncles and, and other cousins that live in, in LA. So just the balance of just living in Texas in general, I love mm -hmm. it. Um, and I also just like the the ease of just flying like two hours mm -hmm. east side, west coast, east coast. So yeah, what do you guys do for work? I feel like we I don't know this. <laughs> so we both work in tech. Okay. Um, so we like, met like a tech company, like I said, five years ago, and then mm -hmm. he's still there, but kind of you know moved around a bit. So yeah, yeah. still in tech though. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing more like consulting, but we were first in sales. That's how we met. But I'm in like tech consulting, and I've been doing that for the past three years. Yeah. And have you guys tried to like monetize your, your platforms from the show? Like, have you guys dived into the influencing and content creation worlds? Yeah, for sure. Um, I know for me, I know shoot, both of us, we uh, both are trying to navigate for one work and doing it at the same time. I think you can have a good balance of doing that. Mm -hmm. I know some people that just dive right into the whole influencer uh, world, but with our job, we, you know, we enjoyed, it yeah. we kind of enjoyed what we did and we did, didn't see anything wrong with doing both um, mm -hmm. yeah. because we hadn't been offered opportunities like, you know, yeah. we'll pay you full time doing this. <laughs> so, and I was like, until I get that, I'll keep what I have right now. So I think it's been a good balance and just doing, you know, sponsorships, deals, yeah. and things of that nature. And different business ventures, like, yeah. you know, myself, like I have an event, um, you know, group here in, in Austin, like we, you mm. know, put on entertainment, like live music, entertainment type oh, of thing fun. like that. So like, it's, it's given us the opportunity to just be able to live like our, our normal lives and still kind of like dabble in other things too. So great for yeah, that. Yeah, sure. I mean, that you guys like having jobs. I think most influencers are influencers because <laughs> they don't want jobs. Like, I don't want to go into yeah. an office. I'd rather just make videos all day. Like, I, I mean, well, at least you guys love what you do. Yeah, yeah. We don't have to go into the office. Yeah, so we're, we have we're remote. Oh, so, cool. like, being remote, you're able to do a lot more things that you mm -hmm. like and you're interested, um, you know, rather than going to the office and clocking out and clocking in. So, I think being remote just has been helping us with our platform and just, uh, you know, content creation in general has been mm -hmm. helping us as well. Okay, cool. Um, before we go, I'm going to ask a few rapid fire questions. So you'll point to yourself or the, or your, your partner, um, but you're going to have to close your eyes so you don't look at each other. So, okay. <laughs> okay. So first question. <laughs> you to close your eyes. <laughs> oh, you don't have to close your eyes. <laughs> oh yeah. I will too. Um, <laughs> Who is the better cook? Okay, now you can open your eyes. You can see. Oh. You're both fictionique. You're both fictionique. Yeah, I fixed her, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, who is the funnier one in the relationship? I guess. <laughs> okay, you both say okay. Randall. Um, <laughs> who is more likely to go back on a reality show? Not a dating show, just like a random one. I think I think Randall. Yeah, I was like, I, don't I would know. be down, you know. I like the circle. The circle would be fun, you know. Yeah. Something, something not relationship based. I, I could, could see that. that for you. <laughs> I could do that. Or you could do something like strategy. Like, have you ever seen Traders? Yes, I have seen that. Uh, I like that one. <laughs> I don't know if I'm like the most strategic <laughs> when it comes down to that. Like, um, what's that show that's on Netflix? Um, the, the Mole. The Mole. Oh, I love watching that, but I don't know if I would be successful at doing that and hiding my um, you know personality and stuff to be yeah, involved. Yeah. That'd be hard. Good show though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, um last question. Who has the better style? <laughs> For no, I'm gonna you, see. you got fits. You got fits. Okay, because I mean she also has like she a lot of fits. Yeah, crazy. she has some, some nice fits as well. <laughs> okay. Nice jacket. You both have good fits. <laughs> You both have good fits. Thanks. What was the what was the like the theme of the engagement, and what's what do you think the theme of the wedding will be? Like, what will be the style? Like Gatsby, like eighties. 
I have no clue. I, yeah. I'm gonna say I think we both like like Ellie Campbell. Yeah, well, we're gonna like tune up to like one thing about it. Like we're gonna have a good time. So mm-hmm. I feel like it's gonna be like you know definitely elegant. I'll let her pick the colors because honestly, I don't. Yeah. I can wear anything. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. the engagement though, I wanted to make sure I told her like wear some nude and gold and white. Like try to mix that mm-hmm. all in. She picked the perfect dress for it. And she didn't know anything about it, but everybody was like, those pictures are nice. Like the dress set it off. And I'm like, I was, I'm glad she picked it. Cause I know at first I didn't know if I, you know, I saw it and I was like, I don't know if that, is that too much for an engagement? Like it looks <laughs> wedding-ish, like is it too much? And I was like, okay. And my, her friend texted me, was like, get the dress, get the dress. Yeah. I was like, okay, let's just, let's just get it. But um, yeah, it turned out really nice and pictures did as well, so. Awesome. Well, I mean, I'm so happy for you guys and I'm sure everyone is who listened to this podcast. So thank you guys so much for joining. Um, Where can we keep up with you guys for all these wedding updates? Is Instagram the best? Are you going to put some YouTube videos uh, out? Like, yeah. He's the TikToker. <laughs> yeah. I'm starting to be more a couple TikTok-ish. You know, I didn't used to do that. I used to do more just straight skits and stuff, but I feel like this new chapter, we are going to do more. Yeah, we um, want people to be a part of it. TikToks too, and, and posts and stuff, so. I mean, I just feel like so full just like by how much support and like love like people have been showing us like mm-hmm. it's literally insane. So I don't know. I feel like, you know, this is a great opportunity to like let people be a part of the process and just kind yeah. of like we've all done this before. So right. it's going to be a lot of learning. It's going to be fun. Us. It'll be fun. fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so okay. Instagram, Sneaky Mari. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Well, uh, everyone Randall follow, Griffin. follow him, follow him on TikTok. <laughs> oh, yeah. <too. laughs> I will leave um I'll leave the links down below for anyone that does not know where to find them and you guys can check them out. Once again, congratulations. Thank you for coming on to Zachary Reality right. and giving us the exclusive. As soon as I saw you guys got engaged, I hit up Randall. I was like, I need the tea. I need the timeline. Yeah, we need to know what's on. going on. Okay, well, thank you guys so much. And if you are listening, do not forget to yeah. give this video a thumbs up and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. And we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.